Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kaylee, and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Today I am going to be sharing my top 5 favorite non-Disney Christmas ornaments. I've already shared my favorite Disney Christmas ornaments. If you missed that video, I will try to remember to link it up here and in the description below. Make sure you go check it out. There are a lot of really cute ornaments there. I'm going to start off with one that actually is Disney and is not part of the top five, but I just thought it was really cute. And it is this really cute Christmas Tinkerbell. And it jingles, which is a really cute element. So I love this ornament. And the reason that I'm sharing it kind of as an extra is because the like string kind of broke off of it, so it doesn't hang on our tree. So it's just kind of chilling in my background, but I wanted to show everyone because she's just really, really pretty. All right, now on to the top five favorite non-Disney Christmas ornaments. So number five is going to be this little guy. It's very small. It has my name on it, Kaylee, and a little cute snowman. So the reason why this is one of my favorites is because you haven't noticed, or if you're new to my channel, I absolutely adore snow globes. So I just think this is so fun and so cute and I love it. <laughs> Number four is going to have to be this guy. He's super cute. Just a little doggy. And it kind of reminds me of my dog, Winter. I will try to remember to include a picture of her at the end of the video. Um, because they have similar coloring, although Winter has some white patches on her throughout her coat. So this one's a little different, but it always reminds me a little bit of her when I see it. Number three is this really cute one. This, I want to say is from Hawaii, but it doesn't say on it where it's from. But there's a little palm tree and they're on the beach and there's Mrs. Claus and Santa Claus. And he's in a little red bathing suit with his Santa hat on. And it looks like a reef as a lay, which is really funny. And they're just super cute. So I love this ornament. Number two is this one of the red slipper from The Wizard of Oz. It's just so sparkly and shiny, and The Wizard of Oz is one of my favorite movies, so I love this one. And my all-time favorite non-Disney Christmas ornament is one of Santa Claus and I just think that this one is so adorable like so so adorable and it just looks classic and like old styles I don't know um kind of vintagey I guess might be the right word to me and I just think it's absolutely stunning So those are my top five favorite Christmas ornaments. Let me know which one was your favorite. But before we go, we have to do our advent calendars. So we're going to start with the socks. And now we are on day seven. So let's see what we're getting. These are cute. They're little gray socks with red. It looks like either a navy blue or black stripes. It's very simple, but cute. And you can't go wrong with $5 for 12 pairs of socks. I mean, come on. That's a great deal. And now we're going to go to the pin advent calendar. 
so we're already on day 20 which is crazy to me we only have one more row after today until Christmas so let's see what pin we are getting today oh it's goofy and he is getting ready for the beach this is a really cute pin and this pin actually reminds me of a memory that I have while working at Disney earlier this year if you are new to my channel I was a DCP Disney College program participant for the spring 2020 semester fortunately it got cut by two months because of COVID but I still really enjoyed my time and I was a merchandise cast member at the Artist Palette at Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. And the reason why this specific pin holds so much fond memories for me is because I remember there was this, um, I wouldn't necessarily say older couple, maybe like 40s, maybe, um, that came into the store while I was working and they came up and asked if we had any goofy pins or goofy merchandise really and we actually really didn't in the store um but I had this pin this exact pin on my lanyard and I said I don't think so but we do I do have this goofy pin if you want to trade with me and she said oh I don't have any pins to trade it's okay we'll go look at Disney Springs and um, so we were continue talking and she told me that she really loves the character Goofy because um, she's really funny and silly and kind of like Goofy and so all of her kids and her family tells her that she's just like Goofy and they nicknamed her Goofy and so that's like her family nickname is after Goofy and I thought that story was so sweet because it reminded me of my family back home. My uncle um, is also very silly and goofy and stuff, and the character that he really, um, kind of resonates with is also goofy, and we often will say that that's his Disney character, and we get him shirts with Goofy, he has one t-shirt where it's, like, Goofy's body, um, and it says Goofy on the end, and then, like, there's no head, though, for Goofy, it's just your head, so it's, like, your Goofy, um, that he wears to the parks a lot. And he was the one that, like, kind of introduced Disney to me and, like, led me down this path. He works, um, for the Disney company as well. So he didn't, like, necessarily get me, the like, into the internship, but he gave me some tips for my interview and stuff of that nature. Um, so Goofy really always makes me think of my uncle. So hearing that... It really kind of reminded me of my family and everything so I gave her the pin as a like magical moment type thing and she was really excited they were like oh no you don't have to do that it's really it's okay but seeing the smile on her face and seeing that the Disney magic can be for any age it's not just for little kids you can make magic for even adults and the older people that come to the parks was really something special because a lot of my um, magic moments that I made were often for little kids so making one for an adult and because it reminded me of my family was really special so this pin really makes me remember um, reminds me of that so even though I don't collect Goofy I may keep this specific pin for that reason that was a really long spiel that I didn't actually plan on having in this video but, you know, pins, anything really can spark a memory. So, let's move our star to day 20. That is all I have for you guys today, and I will see you tomorrow for more Vlogmas. Bye, guys.